General Dynamics LAN Systems has provided new details about its next-generation M1 Abrams tank concept, as well as a clearer rendering of the vehicle. There is a confirmation that the new design will use a hybrid conventional electric propulsion system, along with being lighter weight, having a smaller crew size, and featuring crude uncrewed teaming and artificial intelligence-driven capabilities. Hybrid propulsion was one of the prominent features that can be noted to be found on what is now being referred to as the Abrams X. Company describes it as a technology demonstrator, and it was shown alongside new views of the Stryker X, the Stryker Leonidas, and the TRX Breacher designs. Stryker X is an advanced technology demonstrator with a hybrid diesel-electric power pack and other features that could go into future versions or derivatives of the 8x8 Stryker wheeled armored vehicle family. Stryker Leonidas is a variant of the Stryker with a high-powered microwave-directed energy weapon, and TRX Breacher is a combat engineering configured version of the TRX Uncrewed ground vehicle. The main reason to have a vehicle with hybrid conventional electric propulsion systems is to help ease logistics issues and reduce operating costs. The gas turbine propulsion system that the M1 Abrams family currently uses is well known to be fuel-hungry, maintenance-intensive, and loud too. Another reason why the new tank is developed is that the latest version of the Abrams which is M1A2 System Enhanced Package Version 3 or SEPV3 is too heavy to be carried inside ships or planes. Its weight is 73.6 tons, more than 10 tons heavier than the original M1. The tank's weight, coupled with its physical dimensions, impose limits on how many of them can be carried inside military transport systems. The hybrid conventional electric propulsion system has other potential benefits, including the ability to enable operations from static positions and potentially on the move, likely at low speeds over shorter distances, in a very quiet all-electric mode. This would help the vehicle's crew avoid detection by having a low thermal signature, and possibly gain the advantage over opponents, as well as save fuel. Abram X is equipped with artificial intelligence-enabled lethality, survivability, mobility, manned-unmanned teaming, in short mum t and autonomous capabilities. It will feature a 30mm cannon-armed Kongsberg Protector RS-6 remote weapon station on top of the turret which will be capable of holding a Javelin ATGM missile, what may be an advanced 120mm main gun, a version of the Trophy Active Protection System, and new electro-optical infrared sensor turrets for the commander and gunner.